Today, I am sharing with you my top tips and delicious recipes for meal prep. And I'm gonna be catering more toward that busy individual, someone that you know leaves the house, has a lot of work they gotta do so they're not home, or you got kids, you're go, 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 and you find yourself running towards a lot of convenience foods, you're spending a lot of money out, you feel bloated because all the food's full of sodium, and you just wanna get on track to reaching your goals. I'm gonna be taking you through all of my meal prep essentials, and also I'm gonna be sharing with you my top tips when it comes to planning out your meals to master your metabolism. I have recipes for you, snack ideas, and so much more. Before we dive right into all of my essentials, I want to ask one thing of you. If you find any value in this video, please share it with a friend, give a little heart to the side, subscribe, drop a comment, any of those. I truly put my heart and soul into planning out these videos for you and any feedback on what you like to see more of, different recipes, different meal prep, things like this, gut health, let me so know. So I find myself out and about all the time and when I leave the house, I always say, set yourself up for success. We're gonna start off by going through my essentials, everything you need for the easiest meal prep, okay? So first off, you need a good lunch box. My favorite lunch box that I use is a Yeti. So these are a little bit more pricey, but this is super, super thick and it keeps things cold for hours. I could literally pack my food in here, hop on a flight, be flying, gone about, not to my hotel for like nine, 10 hours, my food will still be cold. So don't get a cheap lunch box, invest in a good one, especially if you work a lot and you find yourself needing to do this style of meal prep often. So great for travel, number one. Number two is you need one of two containers. So the number one I love is a bento box. I got this as a gift, I love it. Um, it's flexible, this is completely dishwasher safe, and what I love is it separates everything. So if you have some salad dressing, nuts and seeds, um, it doesn't allow it to mix. You can put your veggies over here, and the best part, it fits right into your lunchbox easy. So that would be the first one. And then the second one is an insulated container. So hear me out. If you go to Bed Bath & Beyond, or if you go to Target, you are gonna find a container that's like eight ounces. It's gonna be like $25. No, go on Amazon. This is, I think, 18 ounces, so it's nice and large, so we could pile in the food, which I'm gonna be sharing the recipes with you in a moment. But it also comes with a spoon. Um, it keeps it cold for hours. I love this, like, love this. So. You got your good lunch box. You can either get containers or like a bento box or highly recommended insulated container. And I think this one was 15 or $16 on Amazon. So the last thing you need is gonna be a really good ice. So here's the deal. If you've seen my meal prep videos in the past, you know that I order all of my protein in bulk and they send these little ice Nordic Things, okay, I save all of these. That way you don't have to spend money buying more. So if you ever buy supplements or you buy any food, always save these, don't throw them out. This is one of the best free ice things you can have. You also can get these on Amazon, but as you can see, these thin ones, this has been sitting out for around 15 minutes. It's already melting. This solid. So the Nordic ice, I don't know if they sell these on Amazon, but these are awesome. Get a thick ice container and that is all you need. If you have a good lunch box, bento box or an insulated and you got this done. Now that we've gone through the essentials, I'm going to take you through my top tips to planning out your meals to master your metabolism. And then we're going to go into the recipes and the snacks and the food and all that. It is coming. So when you are trying to build the perfect meal to master your metabolism, you want these three key components. You want a carb, you want a fat, you want a protein, okay? Hear me out. Having a good amount of fats at your meals is gonna help absorb the fat-soluble vitamins. You need good fats for your hormones too. 
um, anti-inflammatory in the diet if you're getting them more from these omega-3s like our salmon, our fish oil, our sardines, hemp seeds, chia seeds. Next, protein. If you're trying to build muscle or lose fat, you wanna make sure you're getting protein at each meal so you're able to rebuild and repair your muscle fibers, but also protein plays a big role in terms of our satiety. For example, if you just have a bowl of strawberries, you may realize that 30 minutes later, you're hungry again. But if you've tried any of my smoothie recipes, I'll put my favorite up here, you're getting carbs, fat, and protein at that meal and you're gonna be stabilizing your blood sugar levels, you're gonna feel fuller longer, and you're gonna feel full for a good three to four hours versus just 30 minutes. And it's always important, of course, to have carbohydrates at the meal. That's gonna help with your energy. That's gonna help, again, too, you need carbohydrates to build muscle. You need it, you know, you need carbohydrates for your cortisol levels, for your brain function. So balanced meal, carb, fat, protein. And if you want more on what I eat in a day, I will put more in detail up here on how I structure out all my meals and what I eat. One little point before we go into all my food staples and the recipes is if you find yourself um, getting a lot of cravings, a low energy, and you don't see the results in the gym, diet does play a huge role. So by really focusing on whole food nutrition, and like I said, getting plenty of healthy fats in your diet, getting quality protein, not neglecting the carbohydrates, all of this is really gonna help. Like my clients are like, Elizabeth, I am less bloated, my cravings are gone, I have more energy, I see my muscles growing. So don't neglect anything, fuel your body, and let's dive into all of the yummy goodness and the recipes as well. Let's start off by I'm gonna share with you my staples for carbs, fats, and protein that I keep on hand for meal prep, and then I'll share with you how we concoct these into the most delicious recipes ever. And I got three for you. So first off, we are gonna start with carbohydrates. So easy carbohydrates to bring with you, of course, are rice cakes. That's easy, you could throw on top of that some avocado, some tuna, carb fat, protein, done. Others, you can do whole, um, like, wild rice, you can do quinoa, you can make potatoes, they're hearty, they last. Um, other carbohydrates, these packets are great. Um, this company is just organic rice and water. A lot of the companies, if you look at the back, there's a ton of safflower or canola oil added to it. So this is my favorite one because it's, it's just rice. And this is easy if you're you know, at work, at an office, you can put it in the microwave, break it up, pair it with your protein source, and it's simple. Fat sources. So easy fat sources that I keep on hand, we're gonna be going through. So my first off is I love these packets. So if you have a Sprouts, a Whole Foods, just go online, okay? So if you look at, there's different sun butter packets, coconut butter, you can get coconut oil in packets, you can get olive oil in packets, um, all of these. They're easy, there's 32 grams of protein in here. You don't have to separate anything. You can throw this in your lunchbox, you could drizzle it on top of your fruit or in your yogurt. Um, you could make a little dressing with this. I love getting a tahini. If you get sesame tahini, you mix it with some lemon and you also throw in there some um, apple cider vinegar and you throw some dill, rosemary, salt, amazing dressing, and this is easy. So check out your nut and seed butters. Also see if you can get like the coconut oil, um, you can get olive oil, all of that in the little packets, even on Amazon too. And they're easy for traveling, simple. Um, other good healthy fats I like to keep on hand. Hemp seeds, um, I also love pumpkin seeds. You could do sunflower seeds, but this is great for extra protein, omega-3s. All my vegans, check these out. Zil this is zinc, some selenium, magnesium, which helps calm your muscles, great for anxiety. So I love... Always, you could top these on top of salads, throw them to your yogurt, anything for that additional healthy fat, protein, and omega-3 source. Now let's dive into some of my favorite protein sources that I like to bring with me. So first off, if you're a tuna lover, hear me out. The one brand, if you've been following me a while, 
Wild Planet is the brand to get. If you notice that your protein, you're getting it packed in water, they are literally selling the fish oil to a company that you're buying to take separately, by the way. That is all of your healthy fats. That is all your omega-3s. Wild Planet, everything is pressure cooked in the can. It's BPA free. It's in its own fish oil. So you never drain their stuff if you buy it. Like their tuna, their salmon, pour it into your bowl with the liquid, that's the fish oil, flake it together, it absorbs it, then you could add your other ingredients to it. But I love their sardines, calcium, this is great for your um, omega-3, your brain. They also have their tuna, they have them like with spices in little single serve, three ounce packets. Again, this is great to add into a salad, this is great to top on top of your rice cakes, easy but this is what i wanted to show you they just started making these and these are this one's 360 calories this is 250 there's healthy carbs fat protein in here you got fiber from the beans and it's simple some of my other favorite protein sources these two are great snacks so if you haven't tried these you know i'm obsessed with my vegan bars. And this bar specifically is the only one that has never caused me digestive issues. A lot of them are filled with a lot of sugar alcohols. And for a plant-based bar, this actually has 15 grams of protein and there's like no added sugar. So I will put my support link below if you wanna try any of these out. I love the banana bread. I also love the brownie and the peanut butter. And if you've tried any of these, let me know what your favorite flavor is. And if you ever do order through my link, make sure you send me over a little DM or an email with your order number because I do a monthly giveaway to thank you guys for supporting me by using my link. It means, it means you know, you guys are nice. Um, the other thing I like to do is I love, I'll put these below too. I love the protein sticks because I loved Slim Jims growing up, and this is a healthier version. It's nitrate-free, no MSG, and I chop them up into little bites, and I'll throw them in my salad for a boost of just flavor, texture, protein, and it's a great snack because you are getting 20 grams of protein in here to help, again, satiety your hormones and help you stay on track to reaching your It's goals. recipe time, but before we go into the recipe, I need to say one more thing. You know this to prevent boredom from your meals. Because I know you're gonna say, Elizabeth, I meal prep, I feel like I'm eating chicken all the time and rice all the time, I'm over it. You need to find your staples. I tell my clients this, to prevent boredom, use different sauces, use different spices. Adding fats to your meals gives it so much flavor. So if you're eating your meal and you're not having the balance, add the fats. I like to keep different spices on hand. Um, I love dill, rosemary, thyme. I love a little lemon pepper. I always salt my meals. Um, salt's not bad for you. It has all of its minerals in it. I use the real salt, but don't be afraid to use different spices, change it up. Don't get stuck into having the same thing every day, but also don't feel like you need to have a gourmet recipe every single day because that is just so overwhelming and unrealistic. Find your staples throughout your week. You could have five main recipes that are easy for you to make that you can interchange throughout the week and stick to those. Keep it easy for you, but also change up your spices, your dips, all of that to, to like get you away from boredom. And if you want all of my favorite dressings, all of that, it is in my 150 Healthy Food Swaps ebook. I will put a special code for you below for all of my followers today. And it has all my favorite dressings, dips, um, everything's gluten-free, dairy-free. There's vegan options. It's gut-friendly, no added sugars, artificial flavors you're gonna love it. And if you have questions, let me so know. So it is recipe time. Recipe number one, we are gonna be making a wrap. So I have all my clients track their food in an app and I go in each week and I have their macros for them, but I make healthy food swaps toward helping them reach their goals. So I created these recipes today based off of what I see my clients more gearing towards. So I have like a lunch idea, a snack idea, a breakfast idea as well. So first one is our take on a wrap. 
So for this recipe, we are going to be using the Siete's Cassava Flour Wraps. I love these. Now, you're going to be taking your wrap, boom. On top of your wrap, I love to put a chickpea, so hummus. Hummus is a great source of protein, especially if you're plant-based too. We got our hummus. Then on top of that, we are going to layer our avocado for, again, additional fiber, healthy potassium. Then we want to put our vegetables in our protein source. So if you are plant-based, you can go something toward tofu. Um, I have other options in my healthy food swaps that are made from pumpkin seeds. So there's fun options when you're plant-based. But also, you can do a rotisserie chicken, throw it in your crock pot, cook it up for the week, shred it up and have it for your meals. Or you can get the Wild Planet. You can get, they have chicken, they have salmon and the tuna, and you can flake that up for your protein source. So we have our wrap, hummus, avocado. We got your protein source of choice. Then, like I said, I'm a fan of texture. So for our vegetables, I like to keep it kind of light, water rich throughout my day. So I'm feeling energized, refreshed. So what I've been loving is I've been chopping up cucumber, celery. I've been also doing those little tomatoes, the cherry tomatoes. I slice them in half. Um, just they're so fresh and like refreshing to me. Um, also, I love doing arugula and even bell pepper. And I'll make just a diced up mix for the week. You could even get one of those little ch veggie choppers that dice it all up and throw it in there. So you take your wrap, you spread everything on it, you get your vegetables, you mix your protein, you wrap it up, you're done. It is simple carb, fat, protein, giving you everything that you need to be satiated, to master your metabolism and feeling energized throughout the day without a crack. Recipe number two is going to be my take on a chia pudding, but we're making it super food, delicious, incredible. And I'm going to put all the recipes below for you. And I want you to drop a comment if you try it and let me know your favorite. So for this recipe, you are going to need a jar. I love when I buy my coconut oil, I save these jars because you could make chia puddings, overnight oats. Um, you could put yogurt and stuff in here. And again, you don't have to buy an extra jar. So overnight, what I like to do is we are going to do for our chia pudding, coconut milk as the base, but you could do any type an almond milk, a cashew milk, a dairy milk, whatever you like. I love coconut. A quarter cup of your chia seeds. That's going to be the base of your chia pudding. Of course, you want to mix it. You want to let it gel and don't let it clump to this. So we got some healthy fats. Now to this, we are going to be adding our protein. So for my, for my like chia puddings, I love to do a mix of two. So I do my collagen protein and I do my vegan protein. Collagen is not a complete, um, um, a complete protein. Okay. So that's why I'm pairing it with my plant-based protein because this one has everything in here, all of your amino acids, plus with the chia seeds, the hemp seeds we're adding, you want to get the whole blend. So I love my collagen. This one specifically, of course, five types of collagen for your hair, skin, nails, joints, cartilage, connective tissue. I do the chocolate one. I do a half a scoop. Then I'm doing a half a scoop of my protein. You could do a little bit more of one or the other. Um, you could add more of them based off of your protein needs. You just may need to add a little bit more coconut milk to your chia pudding if you're putting a little bit more protein powder in it so it doesn't get dry. So chia pudding, coconut milk, chia seeds as your base, around a full scoop in total. I will put my links below for my favorite protein. Then make them for the week, throw them in the fridge, you're done, okay? Now what you're gonna add to the top of it is I like to keep frozen berries. Um, I love also, been loving frozen papaya. All of your berries and stuff, just before you leave the house, open up your chia pudding, layer your berries on top, and then I like to bring a little hemp seeds on the side and you could sprinkle those on top with some of 
the sun butter or even an almond butter. That way you're getting carbs, you're getting healthy fats, you're getting quality protein. It tastes delicious and it's helping you stay on track to reaching your goals. So good fiber, all of that. <laughs> but this is one of my favorite staples right now. Just an on the go breakfast when you're not looking for something super heavy, but it's gonna keep you sad. Our third recipe, this is so delicious. You're gonna love this. Okay, so I wanted, like I said, I wanted to make you a breakfast recipe. I wanted to make you something you could put in your bento box, like a wrap. Now I'm making you something for everyone that likes a nice warm grounding lunch. So there's gonna be two kind of bases for this that are easy to prep in bulk. First, quinoa. I love doing the True Roots sprouted quinoa. It's delicious, it's easy on the gut because everything is soaked and sprouted before and you don't have to do any work. So, simple. So this is gonna be called my protein packed quinoa bowl. So, cook up quinoa for the week, however many carbs you want, cook that amount, okay? Now, you're gonna pick three types of vegetables. I like to go more root vegetables and squashes since they're hearty. You could throw them in the oven with avocado oil, your salt, your pepper, and any spices that you want. So you're gonna roast up three vegetables. My favorites, beets, fennel, potatoes. Love it. And you could swap out potatoes for green beans too if you're trying to lower the carbs a little bit and use the quinoa more as your source of carbohydrates. So roast up three vegetables with some oil, some of your spices, boom, cook your quinoa in bulk, then protein. Take your protein, like I said, if you want a rotisserie chicken in it and shred that up, simple, easy, done. If you wanna do tuna one time, if you wanna do um, more turkey, if you like red meat, make some bison meatballs. I'll put my meal prep hacks video up here for you. And it's all of my, just how I make little meatballs to have on hand to cook up fast. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna, when you're ready to go in the morning, you're gonna heat up your quinoa, heat up your roasted vegetables, you got your protein. Layer it, quinoa, roasted vegetables, put your protein on top. And then on the side, we are gonna make a dressing, super easy. All you're gonna take is sesame tahini, lemon, dill, salt. And I'm gonna put the full amounts below. All you gotta do is mix that up with a little spoon Put it in the little side container and you're gonna drizzle that on when you are ready. And it is simple, delicious, it's satisfying, and it, it fits perfect in here because we got the larger one because, you know, we, we go in for a good 40 grams of protein probably to hit those gains. <laughs> but this one is super delicious and it's just such a staple. The key to meal prep, remember this, it's not trying to take one day a week and sit there for hours and chop up all your meals and make all these gourmet things and look up these recipes. No, you wanna pick just like five simple recipes to have in your arsenal, go off of those, change up the spices, you can change up your protein sources to give yourself omega-3s, don't just eat chicken breasts all the time, and just focus on the carb, the fat, and the protein. So many people, like, they're new to trying to reach their goals and they think, you know what, I'm gonna go from just kind of eating convenience foods, not tracking my macros, not really training much, and now I'm gonna try to hit X amount of macros each day, train six days a week, make all these fancy meals, and that was me when I was 200 pounds and I was trying to lose the weight. I just felt lost and I felt overwhelmed and I was trying to make every just recipe and this, and I just, I gave up. Keep it simple. And I promise this because I tell my clients this all the time, I'm like, once you start developing a routine with your diet and nutrition, they see it. They're like, I'm less bloated. My energy's there. I'm not so overwhelmed. And it's just simplify your life. Don't go zero to a hundred. If you need help, you know, just reach out to me. Um, I work with clients all around the world. And if you aren't wanting to train one-on-one -on -one with me, I also have my at-home workout challenge, which I am on week seven right now, and 
I'm feeling it. I'm super sore today from my legs. And you can do it home or gym. It teaches you how to track your macros, all of that. I, and I even have my Healthy Food Swaps ebook if you're just looking for a way to make different swaps throughout your diet with maybe your breads, your dressing, your salads, your chocolates, all your treats, and going more towards something a little more anti-inflammatory without all the processed oils and added fillers that are Let's be honest, they're found in a lot of foods out there and a lot of dressings out there. Before we head off, this little sucker has been on the balcony the entire time I was filming, and he's just been wanting to come in. His, his snoring's a little loud, but I just want to say thank you again for watching. And a little fun fact, I recorded this four times because every single time my mic kept dying. So... Hopefully fourth time is a charm. I love you, fam. Mwah.